welcome back guys to another chain reaction video on the channel today we are going over the best deck to use in arena 7 by far the only requirement you need is you have to have dark prince which you have to stay in arena 7 for quite a while to get but let me just request real quick here let's get some joints donate this guy some commons and i'll show you my deck right now and we're probably gonna get that crown chest in this battle so we can open that up as well so this is not my deck we did an all common battle but the fireball is to protect against minion hordes and barbarians mainly and for getting those towers down last minute if they are at 300 health and Dark Prince and Prince you have to use together, and if the person doesn't defend them, that tower is dead. The Joint is just a meat shield for the Witch and Musketeer, which is a very, very good strategy, and I've been using it since Arena 2 almost, because that is when you get those troops. The Valkyrie is to do a lot of splash damage very quickly and has very good hit points. It can counter almost anything that isn't air except a Pika and other troops like that. The Mega Minion is pretty much just to replace Minion Horde, except it doesn't get shot down by arrows, so that is really good, and it can actually do some damage to towers. So I've told you what this deck is consisted of, so now I'm going in, going to go into a battle and show you what it's all about. So we have a level 9, no big deal with this deck. Let's just move the face cam over to that side because I need to know how much time there is. I wasn't focusing there, but you're meant to place a troop as soon as you get to 10 elixir so that you might possibly get an elixir advantage. But as you can see, those those goblins might do a little bit of damage, so I just put a Valk for safe measure. As you can see, he has a spawner deck, and it was a good move putting the Valk there so that it could get that heart out of the way because he just wasted a bunch of elixir from that. So it looks like he has a ton of... And I mean a ton of skeletons spawning right now. He just loves those goblins right now. Might only need to use one of these princes to get that tower down. But I'm going to use both for safe measure. And the good thing about this is this combo only costs about 9 elixir. Because the dark prince is only 4 elixir and the normal prince is 5. And also I forgot to mention dark prince does splash damage. So if the person tries to defend it with skeletons or something, you will be okay and at least do a tiny bit of damage. So as you can see, his main tower is already at 745 hit points, which is ridiculous. Really wasn't paying attention, but those skeletons are not going to do anything to us right now. Hopefully that joint goes to the tower and hits it enough that our fireball can take it for the three crown. But looks like he's going to go for the skeleton spawner, which is not a good idea because tons of skeletons come out of it. But it looks like we can get it with the fireball if worst comes to worst. But I'm just going to use this cheap minion horde. And it looks like the Valkyrie or the Prince, whatever troop was on the field, definitely got that Free crown, and that is spectacular. Got a golden chest. Could have asked for a better chest, but we did win. So we have a crown chest now. Let's see if we get anything lucky out of this. I really am hoping for something good. Oh, I never, never use wizards. So let's just go into another battle to see if we can get to 2,200 trophies right now. So an easy level 7, gonna wish him a good game because I feel bad for all those low levels that are high up here with us high tier players. But anyway, let's get that joint witch push straight away. And as you can see, he has barbarians. What else would I do here? Of course, I would do a fireball, probably gonna take that wizard mostly. Not enough that the giant can do that much damage. But by the time all these troops get to my tower, they are all going to be absolutely done for. 
but looks like he has a hog right there, which will do quite a bit of damage to my tower if I do not counter that code, because that alone can probably do about a thousand hit points before it dies by itself from your arena towers dealing damage to it. But as you can see, I'm gonna do the double prince combo again, but I'm going to do it in the lane he doesn't expect, hopefully making it so he doesn't counter it. And he only put minions, oh no. If he only put minions instead of minion horde, I would have been okay. But looks like we need to deal some splash damage here with that witch. Tell me down in the comments below what your favorite deck is at the moment and what trophy level you are at. And if you actually want to see more Clash Royale strategy videos or just more Clash Royale in general. So might go with a Mega Minion to get that wizard but oh actually it targeted the wizard at the end and did not die before it took out the wizard so that is very good just gonna save up our elixir here so that he does not get the elixir advantage for me just wasting elixir on nothing good but it looks like we do not have anything to counter that dragon but the tower is targeting it so that is okay looks like he's putting his annoying barbarians again probably hoping i do a fireball like that but he does not know what's coming i am preparing a huge push right now oh no he has an inferno dragon on us we are probably just gonna have to counter all of his moves for now this is terrible gonna just put a valkyrie so we can get that witch to defend Somehow all of his troops have gone down very quickly. 20 seconds until overtime starts happening. So gonna put another giant witch push down. Probably not gonna do anything once again. Put a musketeer in just in case this push does work. Looks like Inferno Dragon is doing work on my giant. So that is not good. But let's put Mega Minion just to put a cheap card down. And let's get that wizard and maybe do a fireball on those barbs, hoping we get the Inferno Dragon in there as well, which we did, which is awesome. This level 7 is doing a really good game. I actually am surprised. Good thing I have some strategy behind this big hat of mine and headphones for that matter. But let's hope that we get a few shots with the Musketeer on his tower before overtime is unfortunately done. And it looks like we got the crown. We have won again. We have hit 2,200 trophies almost in Frozen Peak. Next episode, I will hopefully be there. If you want the episode, of course, tell me in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. And P.S. Merlin, never stop being a babe.